As a result of the continued efforts of Councillor Johnson, new plans have been submitted to redevelop the community centre into an entertainment complex, complete with fashionable wine bars and chic eatery. Inside the main hall, Maureen and her friends chat and play their beloved bingo. Yet one feels that whatever the outcome of the public inquiry, they will stand united against these proposed plans. 51. Did you get your grandson some of that birthday bling bling? Oh, forget it. An handsome Mary Jane should put a smile on his face, though. Woman that's so ghetto. When I was in a bit of a rush, too busy being mafia and dressing wicked well. Anyway, I thought you was getting him one of them bitches. You mustn't call him that now. My general used to call him O's. Mm. Well, I was thinking about getting him a home. But I couldn't find a totally hot one. Know what I mean? Hey! About an eight. Ah, oh, give us an hour. Okay, Chuck. Oh, the hey, listen up, sisters. I've been massively earjacking the vicar. And that Vera, she's got herself a new ride. That attention. What's she got now? She's had her late husband's Austin Allegro totally pimped out, lace doily hubs, neon blinkers, and a beauty in tears made. That car's totally skang. That's why she's been ditching us out at the church. Where's she off to now? Oh, on a road trip with Colin. Colin! Blinky. No one should be pimping at that age. Well, business must be good if that skank Vera can afford a new people shell. It's not as if he has to do anything. I mean, it's the bitches. Holes that are lying on their backs all day. Although, I do think Gangster Coop and Wednesday's quality.